Hi guys! I'm Teacher Ayan and welcome back to Grade 9 Math Class. Before we start, prepare the following. Pen and paper to write your solutions as we progress with our discussions. Your module so you can follow what I am presenting. And remember, you can always pause and play this video whenever necessary. You can even go back to the part of this video that you want to revisit to attain mastery. So let's start! Here's the part 2 of solving problems involving quadratic rational and algebraic equation. Okay, let's continue with our second example. If the difference between a number and its reciprocal is 3 halves, find the number. So here, we're talking about a number and its reciprocal. And let x be that number, and the reciprocal of x is 1 over x. Ngayon, gumawa tayo ng equation para sa problem na ito. And that equation is x minus 1 over x is equals to 3 halves. x is the number, and the reciprocal of that number is 1 over x. And the difference between this number, these two number, is 3 halves. To solve this problem, we will transform this equation into quadratic equation. And to do that, we have to find first the LCD of this equation. Okay, so, x minus 1 over x is equal to 3 halves. So, hahanapin muna natin yung LCD para matransform natin siya into quadratic equation. Then, ililist down muna natin ang mga prime factors ng mga denominator. So, ang x ay 1 times x, ang 2 ay 1 times 2. Tapos, pagtatapat-tapatin lang natin yung mga prime factors na magkakatulad. Tapos, ihiwalay lang natin yung mga prime factors na hindi magkakatulad. Ang LCD natin ay 1 times x times 2 is equals to 2x. So, ito ang LCD natin. Tapos, multiply natin yung LCD na to sa bawat uh, terms dito sa equation na to. So, 2x multiply natin sa x minus yung LCD multiply sa 1 over x is equals to 3 halves multiply natin sa LCD. Okay, next, multiply natin sa 2x times x is equals to 2x squared. Then, negative 2x times 1 over x. So, ikakancel lang natin yung common nila, common ng LCD at saka ng denominator, which is x. So, ikakancel natin yun. Tapos, ang natira ay negative 2. Mamultiply natin sa 1. So, that is negative 2. Here, ganun din. So, ikakancel natin. Imamultiply natin ang 3 halves sa LCD na 2x. So, ikakancel lang natin yung common ng denominator at saka ng LCD which is 2. Then, yung natira, imamultiply lang natin. So, 3 times x. That is equals to 3x. Okay, so ang next ay arrange lang natin siya into standard form of quadratic equation. So, dito, ang pinakamadali na ginagawa ko is transpose. Pero, yung tamang proseso or yung tamang tawag natin dun, mag apply tayo ng addition property of equality wherein mag add tayo ng negative 3x both sides of the equation. As you can see, nagdagdag tayo ng negative 3x both sides of the equation para maging 0 yung right side ng equation na to. To solve this quadratic equation, we will use factoring. Okay, so you can use any method. You can use factoring, uh, completing the square or quadratic formula. But for me, I will use factoring. So the factored form of these equations are quantity 2x plus 1 eh, times quantity x minus 2 is equals to 0. And then next, we will apply the zero product property as we set each factor equal to zero. So, our first factor is 2x plus 1 equals zero. And the second factor is x minus 2 is equals to zero. To find the solution, so we have 2x is equals to negative 1. So, here, 
pwede, ang ginagawa ng iba ay itatranspose lang yan. So, positive 1 transpose dito sa right side, kaya naging negative 1. Or, you can uh, subtract both sides of the equations by negative 1 para ma-cancel yung positive 1 na to at, at nagkaroon ng negative 1 dito sa right side. So, bahala kayo kung anong mas madali para sa inyo. Okay, so ang next ay i-divide lang natin both sides of the equations by positive 2. So, cancel 2 and 2. So, we have x is equals to negative 1 half. Okay, next is equal to positive 2. Okay, so uh, pwede ninyong ito i-transpose dito sa right side naging positive 2 or simply add uh, positive 2 to both sides of the equation. So, para makancel yung negative 2 plus 2 is so equal 0, kaya x na lang natira. And then, para magkaroon ng 2 dito sa kabilang sides. To check, let us use first the value of x is equals to 2. So, we will use the original equation, which is x minus 1 over x is equals to 3 halves. So, papalitan lang natin lahat ng value ng x ng positive 2. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, so, eto yung number at yung reciprocal niya. Ang reciprocal ng 2 ay 1 half. Solve this. So, since ang denominator ng 2 na to ay 1, so, multiply lang natin yung 1 times 2 is equals to 2. So, yun yung denominator niya. Then, ko cross multiply lang natin, 2 times 2 is equals to positive 4. Then, yung 1 dito sa 2, 1 times negative 1 is equals to negative 1. Then, equals to, bring down lang natin yung positive 3 halves. Then, 4 minus 2. 1 is equals to 3 halves, bring down 3 halves. So, equal sila. Then, for the second value of x, which is negative 1 half, so, we will use again uh, the original equation, which is x minus 1 over x is equals to 3 halves. Papalitan lang natin ng value lahat ng x ng negative 1 half. So, ayan. So, to solve... Bring down natin yung negative 1 half. So, para isolve yung negative 1 over negative 1 half. So, eto yun. So, negative 1 times negative 2 halves. Kasi, to divide, to divide a fraction, kasi naka-fraction yun. So, di, to divide a fraction, get the reciprocal of the denominator. And then, we will proceed to multiplication. Kaya, Naging ganito siya. So, yung 1, negative 1, ito yun. Tapos, yung reciprocal ng negative 1 half is 2 over 1. So, this time, hindi na tayo magdi-divide, mag-multiply tayo. So, yun yung uh, explanation dito paano natin isosolve tong part na to. So, negative 1 times negative 2 over 1 is equals to positive 2 because negative times negative is positive and 1 times 2 over 1 is 2. So, yun ang ilalagay naman natin dito. Positive 2 na siya. Okay? Then, bring down 3 halves. So, to solve, ang denominator ng 2 na ito ay 1. So, multiply lang natin yung denominator, 2 times 1 dito is 2. Tapos, cross multiply lang natin yung 1 times, negative 1 times yung 1 dito sa ilalim ng 2 is 1. Then, 2 times 2 is equals to 4. Then, bring down 3 halves. Then, solve negative 1 plus 4 is equals to positive 3 halves. Ayan. So, for this problem, we have two solutions. So, and that is negative 1 half and 2. That's all guys. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!